In this video, I'm going to speak about a problem that I faced on my previous video when I spoke about extracting PDFs from Excel. And if you haven't watched the previous video, I'd recommend you watch it. I'll leave you the link below in the description. So on the previous video, I was extracting data from PDFs using Power Query. It's a new feature that's been added to Power Query, which is to extract data from PDFs. And what happened is that after doing the initial cleaning steps here after this step basically we had our headers here these headers here on the pdf singles and semis multiple two plus bedrooms etc all these headers were scattered or divided onto multiple rows here as you can see so they were actually divided into three rows as you can see here and what I did is is that I promoted the headers and I deleted those rows and then I retyped the headers manually which is actually not the most efficient way of doing it and I discovered that I stumbled upon a solution here by Maxim Zelensky and it says here that you should transpose the table and then merge the two uh, columns or merge your columns basically. So I'm going to explain that solution on this video. Using Excel, even if you are an Excel expert like myself, you learn something new every day. So I learned something new and I'm going to share it with you on this video. So I'm actually going to remove all the steps after this step here, which is filtering the rows. So I'm going to start from this step. I'm going to right click and then delete until the end. And I'm going to delete all these steps here. So as you can see here, now we have our headers here split onto multiple rows. And what we need to do is to transpose the table. So I'm going to go here to the transform tab here, and then I'm going to click on transpose. And this will transpose the whole table here. And now after transposing, as you can see here, we've, our rows have become columns and our columns have become rows. So this is what transposing a table does it be, it makes the rows columns and makes the columns to be row so as you can see here now what we can do is to merge the columns so i'm going to merge here the three columns the first three columns here because they are the ones containing my headers or they are the ones that my headers are split into right so these are my headers it's singles and semis multiples two plus bedrooms multiples one bedroom and bachelor and so on and so forth. So as you can see here, my headers are split into the first three columns. So I'm going to merge them. I'm going to select the first column and I'm going to press and hold shift and then select the last column. I'm going to right click and then merge columns. And now it's going to ask me if, if I want to separate the columns with a separator and I'm going to separate them by space and I'm going to merge the columns and I'm going to name them merged columns and I'm going to click OK. So as you can see here, I managed to merge the columns here and the only issue here is that I've got apartment and then space s instead of apartments which is not a huge deal I can actually do a replacement so I can click on this column here and then go to home and then replace values and then I can replace apartment space s with apartments and then click OK here and now as you can see here they are now apartments correctly and now what I need to do is to transpose the table again so I'm gonna go again here to the transform tab and then do another transpose as you can see here now the table is almost ready all I need to do is to promote these headers as you can see here the headers are written correctly I just need to promote them so I'm gonna go again to uh, trans transform and then use first row as headers or it's also on the home tab use first row as headers and as you can see here now the headers are correct and they are matching my table here and I managed to do it in a more efficient way so this is a better way of doing it than replacing the headers or writing the headers manually and uh, let me know in the comments below if this is something that you knew before or if this is something that you learned newly here on this video let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video guys and i'll see you on the next one if you like the video press the like button and share it with your friends 
Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified with all the new videos. And please make sure to follow me on social media and subscribe to the newsletter so that you can get all the new updates and videos. You will find the links below in the description. If you have any comments, suggestions or feedback, please leave them below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.